Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In the channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. So if you are down for that, please check out my channel, my videos. I think it will be helpful for your data science journey. So let's further do. Let's get started for today's video. So today's video is all about the booleans. So we know on every programming language there are some boolean data types which help us to uh, do a lot of different things in our day-to-day uh, -day coding uh, practices. So now uh, I'll just compare two languages. One is the Python and another one is the Julia. So how it is different the booleans between these two languages and you will also learn how to do the same thing in Julia and Python also together. So let's see. So so what are the boolean uh, boolean data types are there so basically there are uh, three three types of booleans okay so one is the true okay true okay another one is the false and another one is a non data type so these are the three boolean uh, data types are available so let's see how these things are going to work out okay so let's uh, do this so i'll just remove this one then i'll show you how to do that so what we know we know definitely that one is not greater than two definitely one is less than two so in this particular operation if i write it and if i run this particular cell you will see that it is coming as false so logically it is coming as false so it is printing out the output as a false so that's a boolean so false is here it is a boolean okay so same thing if i do the opposite way like two greater than one so that should be true so if i run this you'll see the true is coming so false to other booleans it just tell you it is going to true or false that is what is coming right now okay so the same thing let's see do uh, in the julia so this is a julia notebook i have already uh, written it so you can see that in julia i am just writing the same uh, code like one greater than two it is true or false okay so if i run this it is coming as false but you can see there is a little difference between the python and julia so in python you can see the false is coming as capital F, then L, uh, if L, a C, fal, false, and in Julia it is coming as small. So that is the one difference in Julia from Python. So the same thing will also happen in true also. Like if I run this cell, so you can see that it is coming as true. So that is the one difference. But the operations are same. It gives the similar kind of logic true and false we all know that boolean uh, booleans is something like this and now if i go to the python notebook over there i have declared a is a variable equals to true and b equals to false i can also define a variable using the booleans is a true variable or false variable so if i just declare that a equal to true b equal to false and if i print it you see so it will just uh, tell the like booleans like a is true or b is false so if i print a then it will give you true and if i print b then it will give you false so these things will come up automatically and uh, if i go to the julia notebook again here so i'll do the similar sort of thing here also so a equal to true b equal to false so if i run this one so you can see that uh, it's just coming up like this so it's just printing out the last one so b equal to false so if i again print uh, together like print equal to print and print b then if i run this cell so you can see that like it return print a a is true and then false so it is coming like this okay so this is the true and false okay so now we are going to explore another data type that is a non data type okay so for non data type how it is going to work so first i show you how to declare it and then i'll show you the effect out of it so now i will created another particular variable that is called the c and c equals to none okay c equals to none data type so similar to the a equal to true b equal to false i have also declared c equal to none so if i run this cell and print it 
okay so you can see that it is coming as the non data type okay seek as non data type but when it is needed because in the coding sometimes you need to just declare a particular variables but in the later you are going to use it or to some operations out of it but at the beginning you can just put it as a non variable so if i just create uh, it's in python so okay i just create another code here just a bit yeah okay for cell i'm creating it and there i'm going to declare a particular uh, variable so maybe that's a e okay if i run this only e so you can see that name error name e is not defined it is happening so in that case you are not able to declare that particular variable without anything so in that case what you have to do you can just e equals to you can do e equals to uh, none okay and if you run it then you can declare it okay then similar way if you just print this out so if i just print this out print okay print e okay and if i run this cell you can see that it is coming as non data type similar to c so in this is the operation basically of the non like you can this is a placeholder you can just place it over there and later if you want you can just change the variable out of it and all that okay so now we are going to go, uh, go to the julia notebook and the julia notebook also are going to do the similar sort of thing so you can see that c equals to nothing so in julia non is little different also in python it is coming called as a non data type but in julia it is coming as the nothing data type okay so c equals to nothing you can see that okay so if i run this particular cell it is a zoom effect okay. and if i run, print this particular thing here so it is coming as a nothing the same thing is the similar thing but only the difference is the nomenclature okay so in julia also i can show you the things here so the way i have shown it like this okay so now if i declare e and run this cell it is show you that uh, okay under if variable error e not defined so not defined here it is coming so what you can do is that you can just e equals to nothing you can write sorry nothing equals to nothing okay equals to nothing and if you print then if i run if you run this particular cell here then this error will not come the same thing similar sort of similar thing like the python so if you print it here print e okay then if you run this you see that it is coming as nothing so so these are the uh, boolean things in the programming languages like true false and nothing or none so i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and see other videos i am creating this particular playlist and i think it will help you to learn both in python julia together thank you for watching my video thanks